Hi, this is Aaron Miller, and I am the Legal Technical Trainer here at Lawyers with Purpose. I appreciate you clicking on this link to learn more about the Lawyers with Purpose client-centered software. This drafting software is great because it is so easy to use, helps guide you with help files that are built right into the software, and it allows you to confidently turn over the drafting to a non-attorney, which in turn allows you to get out there and meet more clients. What I'd like to do today is show you the software and show you how it's unique and how it can best help support you and help grow your practice. So let's take a look at what's in the software. We have several different modules. First is the Medicaid Qualification Worksheet. If you're practicing elder law or think you might want to, you can use this to help a client understand where they are currently in regards to qualifying for Medicaid, how best to get qualified if they're not already, and how soon they can get qualified. We also have a VA module. This includes a VA qualification worksheet as well as software that actually fills out a VA aid attendance application. The VA qualification worksheet can help you figure out if a client is qualified for veteran benefits and if they aren't qualified what you need to do to get them qualified whether that means increasing their medical expenses, reducing their countable assets, or both. The VA application software includes both informal and formal claim interviews and these by themselves would make a fantastic addition to any practice. The reason is this software really cuts down on the time it takes to fill out the paperwork that you need to file with the VA. Also included are our traditional planning modules. These plans consist of documents that work together to meet a client's needs. Now we separate the plans into two different categories. We call them base and enhanced. A base plan does not have much customization because it was designed to compete with those trust mills and those guys down the road that offer cut rate plans, if that's what your client wants. A base plan is a plan that has distributions outright to individuals. Now one thing that will distinguish you from the cut rate guys is these have testamentary or standby trusts for minor beneficiaries as well as a testamentary and standby trust for disabled beneficiaries. Most of those other plans won't have standby special needs trust provisions built right into the plan as a standard addition. Now within our base plan options we have base will plans which include the will, power of attorney, and health care directives. We have revocable living trust plans, which include a revocable living trust, a poor of a will, power of attorney, and health care directives. We have what we call an AP1 plan, or Asset Protection 1, which includes a will, a poor of a will, as well as an irrevocable trust, a power of attorney, and a health care directive. We also have an AP2 plan. AP2 plan consists of an irrevocable trust, a revocable living trust, a poor of a will, a power of attorney, and a health care directive. Now our enhanced plans are more customizable. You can create post-death asset protection trust for the surviving spouse. You can create lifetime asset protection trust for children so that their assets are protected in the event of divorce or if they get into any debt issues down the road. You can also create a unique document called a personal care plan. This is a document that lets everyone know how mom and dad wants to be treated if they're otherwise healthy but unable to communicate. This is really great for those scenarios where you have an in-town kid and an out-of-town kid. A mom tells the in-town kid one thing, but forgets to tell the same thing to the out-of-town kid. The personal care plan can prevent problems between siblings down the road, even if those siblings are well-intentioned. The enhanced plans include the same ancillary documents as the base plans, except they also include the personal care plan. Next we have our standalone trust for those times when a client just wants the one document. These include a base or enhanced revocable living trust, a based IPUG trust. Now IPUG is our trademarked irrevocable trust. It stands for Irrevocable Pure Grantor Trust. Now there are two main types of IPUGs. You have a MIT, which stands for My Income Trust. That's where the grantor retains the right to the income, but of course gives up the right to the principal. Or we have a FIT, a Family Income Trust, where the grantor gives up the right to both the income and principal. However, the trustee of both trusts has the ability to make gifts out of the trust to the lifetime principal beneficiaries, which are typically kids, grandkids, or other family members of the grantors. We also have an enhanced IPUG, which has the post-death asset protection and everything that we talked about in the enhanced plans above. And then we have a kit. A kit is a kid's income trust, and we use that when a client has come to you where they've already given away assets to some of their children. Next we have a completed gift trust. A completed gift trust and our TAP trust are both non-grantor trusts and are used for tax planning. The completed gift trust can be used for veterans benefits planning, while the TAP trust is a trust that was created to be used like an ILID, which is an irrevocable life insurance trust, although it's not limited to just holding life insurance. This type of trust is for people that need to worry about estate tax. Next we have a special needs trust. 
If you have a client that has a special needs child or if you need to use it for elder planning, you can use this trust. And we also have a qualified income trust, which is also known as a Miller Trust for those of us on income cap states. Next, we have a standalone will module. This module has a simple will, pour over will, a base will, and an enhanced will. And then we have our ancillary documents, power of attorney, healthcare directive, and personal care plan. Next, we have practice forms, which includes an estate planning engagement agreement, caregiver agreement, disposition of remains, or promissory note. Finally, we have an enhancement list, which shows what the changes were since the last time the software has been updated.